You hear the terms all the time in the news, hate crime, culture of hate. But what does it really mean? And how many of those so-called crimes are real? I was frankly surprised how many people jumped uh, on board to side with Jesse Smollett before there were photos, before there right. were police statements, before all that stuff. And so how do you think this all... Uh, what was the trajectory of how this went wrong? Yeah, the headline was so sensational and so disturbing. It first came out on TMZ. An act of intimidation. The perpetrator set the sanctuary ablaze and left a spray-painted message on the exterior of the worship home, Vote Trump. Police arrested a man in the burning of a historically black church in Greenville. Police arrested Andrew McClinton for arson today. The bishop told us McClinton is a member of the Hopewell Missionary Baptist Church. Investigators believe he also spray painted vote Trump on the side of the church building. And in Bean Blossom, Indiana, Heil Trump, a swastika and an anti-gay slur spray painted on St. David's Episcopal Church. A Muslim woman says she was verbally attacked by a group of men, and it didn't stop there. Initially, 18-year-old Yasmin Saweed claimed she was attacked by those evil male Trump supporters who called her a terrorist and threatened her. It was so bad, she had to write about it on Facebook, but it reeked of BS, because it was. Someone scrawled anti-Semitic graffiti on the campus of Nassau Community College. It has happened several times in the past two months. And they say a student is responsible. That student tells police that he did it because he felt he was being harassed. 20-year-old Jaskarat Sani was arrested yesterday after he was caught drawing swastikas on the exterior of H building and then KKK on F building. She said that apparently someone had come into the bathroom earlier that night and wrote a racist slur on the wall, which said, I'm gonna kill on and then they listed three remembers. Police say Arthur was interviewed after it happened the first time, then yesterday, more graffiti was found. Arthur was arrested on campus for both crimes. He was friends with students of color, the person themselves was a person of color mixed um, and like people are shocked. Breaking news in the investigation and threats against Jewish centers. A man has now been arrested in St. Louis. Let's go over to Bryn Gingras. She's got much more on this. So Bryn, what do you know about this? And Kate, we know that man's name is Juan Thompson. He's believed to be behind eight bomb threats against Jewish institutions. Now, he does not appear to be the main person behind the wave of threats that targeted centers all across the nation. Rather, a copycat jumping on the anti-Semitic acts and doing it to harass a woman he had a romantic relationship with, according to police. 